I need more wood for the fire. They needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle... Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. Then I need more firewood. I've already collected plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time you'll have left to forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Jacob said they would come. We never recovered from the Soviets. And now this. I promised to keep it safe. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia. Whom I thought I'd long forgotten. And it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child. And those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. I'll do what I oh, can. better, damn it. I'll run out of nails before we're done here. We can pull more out of the old cabins. The ones we don't use anymore. You there. We could use some help if that's what you're here for. Once, you scoffed at learning your letters, said it had nothing to do with hunting, but that's your first lesson. Everything is connected, and I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hairs you can find anywhere, night or day, both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hares in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees, and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins, or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. <sighs> we need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. I'm 
sorry if Sophia was less than welcoming. I understand. I'm just glad you were there to vouch for me. My people have spent decades fighting outsiders. It's not an easy habit to break. See if you can lend a hand with the preparations. A little hard work would go a long way towards building trust. I'll see what I can do. The day I feared has come. There can be no more denying it. The helicopters we saw last sundown represent a new incursion onto our lands. We have grown up in the shadow of our parents' struggle, and now it seems we will have our own. But the sacred duty must be done. We must protect the source of God's grace on Earth. They will likely come from the air. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those too old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial assault but we will turn their eagerness into our advantage. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must wear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will we be victorious. For now, let's Warn the others in the valley. Today, we win by surviving. Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous in the upper village. Understood? Yeah! Understood. Trinity being here, the people they're hurting, that's down to me. I led them here. God, it's happening again, isn't it? People are suffering because of my actions. No. No, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. 
Trinity would have found this place sooner or later. At least I have the chance to help stop them. Of getting to the Divine Source first and using it to benefit the world, rather than cause more pain and suffering. Just need to focus. For everyone who's gone before. For everyone I've lost. Just keep moving. Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the valley. If you light the signal tower, they'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. Forces here. All right.
You're the one that came with Jacob. I have something to ask of you. What can I help you with? Jacob told me you've got a knack for exploring. There are more old places, tombs, all around the valley. You may have seen the wards placed there to frighten children. It's not superstition. Those places are dangerous, but they also hold relics of our former glory. Not just trinkets, but knowledge. I believe we need that wisdom now more than ever. A decade ago, I'd have gone myself, but now I could use your skills. The scouts tell me you've already been inside one of the old tombs. Would you share what you've learned with us? Of course. They belong to your people. We don't have much, but I have these old coins. If gold has value to you, I can give you some for every secret you find. The followers of the Prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria. is the divine source. Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Where is it? Wait! Wait! There's a map. The Atlas. It will show you the way. Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey.
You have nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail! Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? I'm expendable. They have no interest in my survival. I need the power of the Source! <coughs> and you will have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Please, just find it. My time is running out. I've come so far. I've endured so much. These final barriers that you have set before me. These sins you have forced me to commit. They must have a purpose. Only you can show me the way. Grant me strength to continue for her. For you. For Trinity. Please. Show me the way. Stay with me. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. But Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. I can help them, Jacob. Will you do this for us? Or for that which you seek? Right now, they're one and the same. I'll be back with reinforcements after I've tended to the wounded. Yes. I need what is it? We're in bad shape, Jacob. The attack left us in shape. I still can't. No one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll see to the wounded here. We have to get them to someplace safe. That's done. Gather anyone still able to fight. Sophia will pull them off until we can arrive. Make it dear on 
want to spit. Hello. You're lucky. If they'd gone through all the way, you would have bled out. Lucky? Ah, damn you, that hurts. It is going to hurt no matter what I do. You were shot. Now, hold me. It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice, but I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet and the city are lost to us and that we are now on our own. Is your father? Why is his apprentice pulling bullets out of me? He was at the Acropolis Tower. I know, it's not a thing you can be ready for. And it's not something you'll forget. Now this makes sense. If I follow these directions... The dig looks so beautiful in the early evening, when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I declined it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too. How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad, being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something 